Hiya, it's uh, John Mansell, Expose Down again. Um, hope you're well. I need to start off by talking about an analogy that I've just come up with. Uh, I've just had a walk down to Hal Zoeing, uh, a long way around, it's taken me an hour. Uh, so, the analogy I've come up for something we're going to talk about later is say, for example, you were driving down a country lane. Uh, it was national speed limit because obviously none of us ever speed and there's a, a, a little old lady in front of you doing 30 miles an hour. Now if you're on a straight and you can see lots of lots of lots of you know way ahead of yourself and you can overtake you know not a problem at all you know as long as you make sure that you you know there's no crossroads or whatever coming up. That's a window of opportunity and this is where the analogy comes in. Now if you're behind that little old lady still and there's a bend coming up, you can still try and overtake her and maybe you'll get away with it, maybe you'll crash head on with somebody coming around the corner. So it's still okay, you know, no it's not okay, it's still you can still try it, but there's, an op there's a much more bit, there's a much bigger chance that you're going to fail by crashing into somebody if you can't see what's going around the corner. So there's a lot of window of opportunities. That's 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 where I'm yeah, where I'm going with with this. I think I've already got off a little bit of track, but I posted something on on uh, on on Saturday and. It basically said uh, three hours kip last night, sorry Thursday night, 11 hour kip last night, um, been busy couple of days doing some uh, various things including running two peer support groups. Um, and then I went on to say but I, I genuinely feel very relaxed and, and that it feels good. Now I've referred back to that in a in a post this morning by sort of picking back up on those words. I genuinely feel very relaxed and it feels good. The reason I picked up on those words is because on Sunday I was fairly relaxed as well, um, but it wasn't natural. It wasn't uh, genuine relaxed. It was it took a lot of mindful effort uh, and medication um, and selfishness so for example selfishness uh, not replying to perhaps a couple of texts um, so while I was in that those relaxed modes yesterday and Saturday I always keep a notebook by the side of me, uh, things pop into my head, so I write them down because I know if I do them then, I'm going to get stuck into uh, that cycle where it, it may escalate and, and hurt me, uh, not hurt me, that's the wrong word, but you know, knock me about a bit. So you think Sunday evening, you think, okay, so we've had quite a what a relaxing weekend, but then the, then the noggin starts thinking. Wonder how many notes I've written down. Wonder how many things I've, got, I've told myself I've got to do on Monday. I wonder how many things is going to just stress me out. So again, that I'm just putting that back to the window of analogy. There, and one of the hashtags I use all the time is pick your battles. You got to find the right time to be doing what you need to be doing. So I've got a list of things that I should be doing. Uh, they're now stressing me out a little bit, but not too much, you know, just it is what it is. Uh, still got emails to catch up on. I'm so beyond with social media, it's a joke. Um, but importantly this week I've got, on Wednesday and Thursday, I've got uh, meetings or events that both start relatively early and last all day. So, my key thing is for the next couple of days, next two or three days, is to keep yourself well, um, keep yourself focused, keep yourself mindful, 
so I can attend those meetings slash events as there's you know they're, they're, they're important things and there's my opportunities for uh, moving stuff forward so what I'm saying is is yeah there's only the certain window of, windows of opportunity that allow you to get on with what you need to get on with. Um, now, again, I, I've got it all mixed up and muddled in my head, so sorry about this. Um, but I do, I do things when my mind allows me to do it. Um, a lot of people say to me that you're very strong to be able to keep going and stuff like that. I'm no stronger than any one of you that's watching this video now. I'm no stronger than any one of you I've ever spoken to. But I would put money on that I make more efforts to manage, not control, manage my mental health, my mental Ill illness and what I do on a daily basis about that. Um, it does require effort, um, and, you've all, and we've always got this thing where we only see the negative. So whenever a negative comes around, we'll sit there and say, "Oh God, I did." I, here we go again. Um, when we when we need to do something, uh, and, our, and our mental our mental capacity won't allow us to do it. Uh, we get frustrated, uh, we put things off, then we put things off, we get lists of stuff that we need to do. Now, that just describes life. You don't have to be a mentalist to have a, a to-do list that you never catch up with. Uh, that's just life. It's about how you deal with it. So again, I'll go back to, I should have said at the start, I don't know whether I did, I think there's a little bit of self-pity in, 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 this, in this vlog. Um, Saturday was really relaxing, Sunday I had to work to relax. Today I've got up, I've had my long walk, but I know that I'm probably not gonna look at my list today because I think it will stress me out. So then we get on to the next thing. So tomorrow, because I haven't looked at my list today, I will start stressing about it more and it just gets worse and worse. But Again, that's the same in a normal life, a normal's life, and a mentalist life. You know, it is what it is. We do what we do. We, can, we you know, if you can deal with it, deal with it. If you can't, don't. Um, that's life. Um, you know, it, it, it's what we all we all we can do is is do what we can do to get through on a daily basis. Um, I seem at the moment to be spending all my time monitoring uh, where I'm at. Uh, I seem to be spending a lot of time trying to protect myself. Um, now, I don't know whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll see. You know, I'm, I'm, I've got a few learned bad behaviours that I'm trying to think about working on. Um, but everybody has to do the same. So, like I said earlier, I'm no stronger than any one of you out there. I just, as I say, I'd lay money on, I'd put in a lot more effort into managing, and again, not controlling my mental health issues, the life around mental health issues, and mental illness. Now, nearly nine minutes, so uh, I'm not sure whether I've managed to say what I wanted to say. Um, and I, I hope that, that windows of opportunity analogy works. You know, you can only do certain things certain times. Um, uh, you know, going to the Formula One, for example. You know, you you, you can't overtake it, it, on on certain bends. But there are there are windows of opportunities such as DRS and things like that. So, you know, you can try and overtake on a bend, but the chances are it's going to go wrong. Um, and that to me is, is, I don't think this makes any sense, does it? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna shut up now because I think I'm making it more, less important. Uh, I think I'm making it less, I'm making it worse. Um, 
Right, windows of opportunities. When you're driving down a country lane, you can safely over, overtake a little old lady uh, if you can see miles in front of you and there's nothing coming. And you'll get away with it nine out of 10, I would say. If you, you can still try and overtake when you're on a corner. Chances are though, you're gonna crash and burn. And that's an analogy with regard to when I do things and when I don't do things with my mental health stuff. And I hope that that makes sense to some of you out there because I think I've really effed this up. But never mind. As you can see, I'm in a fairly, fairly jovial mood, but my noggin behind that is, is saying, right, we need to protect you today. We need to do certain little things. We need to protect you for the stuff later on in the week. Um, and when the noggin's doing that behind, it's taking up energy. So, um, thanks for listening. I think I've probably confused the hell out of you. Uh, and if, you, if you're upset by the fact that I've said a couple of times that I put money on, I put more effort into my uh, working on my mental health issue, don't get angry, get even, and put that effort in and prove that I'm wrong. I'll catch you soon. See ya. Bye-bye.